So let's again look at this uh, city council election where we have two Democratic candidates uh, splitting the Democratic vote. Uh, and this time, let's use instant runoff voting. So looking at our first choice uh, candidates here, the one with the least number of first choice votes is Don. And so first to eliminate, first to be eliminate will be Don. So we're going to eliminate Don from the election. And that's basically going to reduce our table uh, down to, let's see here, these people prefer L over key, and there's 342 of them. And then these people both prefer key over L. Uh, and those, that's going to be 512 people. And this is a majority now, uh, and so the winner w would be key. And so here, key is the winner, wins under our instant runoff voting. Uh, and so notice that um, we are still violating the Condorcet criteria because uh, Earlier, we found that Don was the Condorcet winner. Uh, on the other hand, uh, this there is a elimination of of what's called um, insincere voting, where supporters of either Don or Key might be, you know, have a temptation to vote for the other one to try to uh, avoid splitting the votes, uh, and so there is an advantage uh, in that regard.